Hey guys, it is Monday and I'm starting up another vlog in my car here at Sam's Club. I'm not going to show myself on camera today because I need to color my hair so bad. The gray is just awful. Ugh. So hopefully I can do that tonight. I'm very tired. I spent the whole weekend um, listing all the flatware I had except for one set that I got on Saturday on eBay and it was worth it. You know, I needed to get done. I reorganized a bunch of stuff, um, so I, I'm just exhausted from that. And I didn't get any other pictures done. Normally, I spend my weekends taking pictures for the coming week, so I don't have any pictures ready. Um, but today, I think I'm going to do my normal, you know, computer work, and then I'm going to spend some time cross-posting to Etsy and Poshmark. That's something I usually do on the weekends as well. Um, but since I didn't do that, I want to catch up on that today, and then tomorrow. I, uh, or I need to get a plan together to photograph and get things listed um, for the rest of the week. So anyway, going to Sam's Club, get my stuff here, and then head home. The humidity has um, gone down, thank you, Jesus, because it was miserable. So the weather is much more tolerable now, and yeah, that makes everything a lot better when you're not um, burning up and sweating to death and you can go you can do a little bit more when you're not burning from the inside out well here's what i have so far i got the garnier shampoo i need shampoo and this is the cheapest so i always get, try to get one or two backups so i'm out of backups so i got two we only have organic bananas today but they're all still only a buck 98 um bundle and then puffs plus giant bag of burritos for 4.98 use those for like taco night and that's about it. Milk, fruit snacks, bottled water. And now, so I got the members mark Benadryl. Look at the difference. $13.98 compared to $4.48. So basically $150 for $14 or $600 for $4.50. And it's the same thing and it works just as well. And then here <clears throat> we've got Tylenol. That's extra strength. Let's see, where's the PM? Oh, tell me they don't have it. They do. So Tylenol PM brand name. 225 caplets for $16.50 or $375 for $12.13. Exact same thing. I always get the member mark, members mark over the counter drugs. If they have it because it's the exact same thing and price is so much better and this is like this and milk or the savings alone with the over-the-counter medicine and milk easily pays for my membership every year so I think it's just a bonus so now I think that's everything that was on my list yep now I gotta go and check out oh wait there is one more thing in there big block of Parmesan cheese yes can't forget our Parmesan cheese so I'm back home now, two orders, and the uh, mail person didn't take my packages. It's a substitute, and they just, they came, they looked at them, they didn't take them. So yeah, I'm gonna take them down to the post office. Um, this is an old shirt, Lane Bryant, sold on eBay for $9.99, free shipping. And then I accepted a bust offer 15 on this Hocus Pocus t-shirt on Poshmark. And on Poshmark, the buyers pay shipping, so get these ready to go and then I guess I'll head down to the post office <laughs> look at you go 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 Papa <laughs> Walker double as a <laughs> carrying case at the PO so it's actually Monday night now um, I just did a lot of computer work today of adding in some free shipping to listings that I thought might help them sell better and kind of just maintenance -y stuff. I need to do my quarterly sales tax. That's due the, the end of the month. So I need to do that. Um, but yeah, I hopefully tomorrow will be up to taking photos because I don't have any photos in the queue. I need new pictures. So hopefully you can get that done tomorrow. I've had one more eBay sale. This is a set of little home co wall hanging bird thingamabobbers that's the technical name <laughs> they sold for $21.24 I think they were $24.99 they're 15% off you do the math 
Um, and the buyer did pay shipping on top of that. It was super handy. These boxes that I got my um, eBay poly mailers in um, for the store coupon. These, I've been using these now for things like this. Fit perfectly in here. Um, I've used a couple now for some just flatter stuff. So I've told you guys before, but any kind of, anytime we get a decent box, we keep it because you just never know, especially, well, specifically if you sell hard goods like I do and you just have all kinds of different shapes and sizes, you just never know when you're going to need some like, random flat box and this fits perfect. Hey guys, it is Tuesday afternoon actually. We had a rough night. Lucy was up all night long barking. I don't know what was wrong with her. She was just wired. Um, so no one got much sleep and... We're all feeling it today, but she's napping now, so I don't know what that was about. I don't know if she had maybe a little seizure, and then she was wound up, but that was rough. So we're all kind of tired. <laughs> um, already went to Target this morning, did some recycling, and did some cross-posting to Etsy. Now I need to get photos, because I don't have any photos in the queue. So I'm going to try to do as many pictures as I can today. don't have great light. I rely on the natural light for um, clothing. It's not great, but I'm going to do what I can with it and get it done. And I think just this afternoon, try to get as many pictures as I can of clothes because that's what I have the most. So that's what I'm going to do. Go take photos. whoop de doo You having fun with that Kong, Charlie? Yeah, it's peanut butter, isn't it? Yeah. Is it good? Huh? You're trying to eat the actual Kong, aren't you? I don't think that's going to work. you got to suck the peanut butter out. Don't eat the Kong. Could you have any more blankets on the couch? Oh, there's Lucy. Lucy, Charlie took your Kong. You took his, didn't you? we got to swap. Yes. All right, guys. It is the end of Tuesday. And I am sitting here with no makeup, wet hair, uncolored hair. You can see the gray. Got my pajamas on. There might be a stain on here. All I wanted tonight was to color my hair and to do a manicure, pedicure, but no. Oh, no, no, no. By the end of the day, I was dirty, sweaty, gross feeling. So the thing with coloring the hair, it needs to be clean and dry. So I'm like, ugh, I'm not putting hair color over dirty hair. So I had to take a shower. So it's another day of no hair color. And I did get the pedicure done. I actually had the manicure done and then I hit my nail on the desk and one nail smudged and when one nail is ruined, the entire thing needs to be redone. So there's that. Did I mention no makeup? Yeah, and then like this, I always have an orb on my face because I have a giant forehead and no matter where I am, there's a sun lamp light, something burning on my head with a giant orb. So this is no effort, like not even half-ass attempt. This is as bad as it gets as far as me coming on camera with just nothing, no attempt whatsoever, right? Nothing. This is what you're getting. Um, if you're here for eBay stuff, sorry, there wasn't much in this vlog uh, because I've had one sale in 24 hours. <laughs> What's up with that? Is the whole internet broken or is everybody on Amazon for Prime Day? I don't know. Yeah, so no eBay, no Poshmark, no Etsy. Uh, today I did do a stack of photos and drafted about 20 items. All the clothes that were in my closet that were smalls. I hang everything up by size and then I do them in chunks like that. So when they're listed, uh, they're listed together. Um, I don't know if that makes a difference, but whatever. That's just how I do it. Um, I did cross post some to Etsy and I cross posted some to Poshmark. So yeah, you guys have been asking me how Poshmark is going. Um, Poshmark and Etsy are like, I only deal with them when I have, when I'm caught up with eBay or like I need a break because everything goes on to eBay. That's where all the work goes into, you know, all the research measurements, all that kind of stuff. So then to cross post the items to Etsy and Poshmark, it's basically copy paste. Um, it's really not difficult. So I can do that while like I'm listening to a podcast, um, so like today I did a bunch of it just because I was tired. Like I said, nobody slept last night because Lucy was up um, barking all night and all morning actually. So we're all tired. 
Um, so I did that, and I guess for me, I, I haven't, I don't put that much work into Poshmark, and I still only have like, I think I'm up to over 100 items. Um, I know people who do Poshmark and they're getting a, you know, big result of it. They're listing, you know, lots of stuff, and they're moving stuff. It's volume, right? Um, so I don't know. If clothes are your main business, I would say you're totally missing out if you don't do Poshmark. If you just do clothes a little bit, um, unless they're high end and or younger trendy stuff, um, I would say you're probably fine with eBay. Like if you're doing um, more brands that are geared toward like middle-aged women, you know, the Chico's stuff, I think that's probably okay with just eBay. But if you have higher end stuff, you have young trendy stuff, then I think Poshmark could be. But if it's just like, and uh -uh, you're kind of not really that into clothes, I don't know that I personally would do it. Um, it does take a lot of effort, even if you are just copying and pasting to deal with it. And if nothing else, when if you cross post, when it sells on eBay, you have to delete from Poshmark. If it's on Poshmark, you delete from eBay. So it's another layer of stuff to do. So if you don't, if you're doing fine on eBay, fine. You're lucky. <laughs> Chuck along on eBay. I wish I was. I wish I didn't feel like I needed a cross post to Etsy or to Poshmark, but I kind of feel like I do. So anyway, that is with that. But um, I have a bunch of stuff to open. I have a bunch of boxes that have come that I haven't opened. So if you are only interested in the reselling, you might not be interested in the rest of this video because it's going to be unboxing stuff. It's not about saving money. It's not about making money. It's about spending money on oh, crap I don't need, but I got anyway. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. Um, and I'm gonna do some unboxing. So the first unboxing is from T Public. So I have some merchandise, shirts and stuff I created, and I sell them on T Public. I don't bother with Amazon merch because it is too much work with all of the, oh, you have this many styles you can list today, and oh, this style hasn't sold in 60 days, so it got deleted, and people copying stuff and taking from you. And I'm just like, you know what? I don't need another job to babysit Amazon merch. I have my stuff up on TeePublic. I get sales there, nothing like super spectacular. I honestly average anywhere from $30 to $100 a month on TeePublic, but you know, I don't do anything with it, so fine. Um, but they messaged me and they're like, hey, you're in the top 25% of sales. I'm like, okay, if I'm at the top 25% with a maximum of $100 a month, Yeet. But yeah, it's a super easy um, interface. The biggest problem I've had, I have design t-shirt ideas and stuff and I try to design them and then it's getting them onto these sites and it just, it brings me to tears. I can't tell you how many times I've ended up crying, trying to get my designs to have the transparent background, to get them sized right. I've tried to get help. And I just, I, it just, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It just, it brings me to tears and I can't deal with it. So I don't really pay much attention. But they wanted to send me a free gift. Um, and I said, okay. And the free gift was this journal. This is one of my designs, the Royal Palm Club, which is um, one of the concierge level, club level uh, at Disney World, like Grand Floridian. Sorry, I'm like, what am I talking about? I was trying to think, is it the outer building or the main building? Is Royal Palm Club outer? It's the it's the main building. Royal Palm Club's the main building. Sugarloaf is the outer. So I just made this little design, saying what it was, and they sent me a book. And then it has my, it's, everything on there still says see and save. But it says master member since December 5th, 2016. It's 2018, I've been on there for two years, what? Where's my life gone? Anyway, um, I will link, my T public is linked below if you want to go and look at it. And it's free to list. They don't delete your listings after 60 days if something doesn't sell, like Amazon. Um, and there's not as much, you know, clutter over there. So anyway, if you're interested in T public, and if you do merch, you know, it's a place you cross post your listings and try to make more money from that. So there's that. Thanks, T Public. Then we have Sticky Club. Okay, 
Sticky Club, sticker subscription, $10 a month. They have three different styles, cute, retro, pop. I've been getting the retro. I really, really like the retro, but they send a preview before the mailings go out. And I didn't like this month's retro. It was, I can't remember what it was. I didn't like it. I was like, eh. But I kind of liked the cute because it was hamsters. So I switched it. So I always do that. I always look at what the preview is. It doesn't show you everything, but it gives you an idea of what they're gonna, the theme is gonna be and some of the pieces. And so you can switch. Sorry while my nose itches. <laughs> They've also started sending their stickers in these little packets, which are super nice to keep everything organized. Um, and then, okay, this is what came in this month. Oh, it always comes with a little ring binder. My nose is itching, excuse me. Oh, I told you guys that this was the absolute no effort video. Okay, we got a postcard with a little hamster and a tea kettle, not a tea kettle teacup. Did I mention no one got any sleep last night? We're all tired. Oh, we have, it's a pack of sticky notes. There's literally like five pieces of paper. <laughs> Whew, hope I don't run out of those. Then we have a giant. Oh, this is, now this says postcard. Come on now. You know, if you put this in with the U.S. Postal Service, they'll be like, uh-uh, we're not sending that, but that's super cute. Excuse me while I wipe my nose. Okay. Nose has been wiped. Water has been drank. Lip balm reapplied. Let's get back to stickers. Then we have this. It's like a embroidered little patch. So cute. Oh, look at these. Are these scratch and sniffs? Oh, they don't smell. I'm come. Oh, it smells like a chemical. But how cute. These, if you collected stickers in the 80s, Hallmark, I think, had a line of, well, scratch and sniffs, I guess. But they kind of looked like these. I don't know if you remember those. Those are super cute. Strawberry. These should smell. This indicates scratching and sniffing. So I don't know what happened there. Then we have the, oh, this is just like the little thing of what it is. Oh, <coughs> excuse me. You can bend this, peel off the stickers and put it on the envelope. Then we have <clears throat> some little hamsters doing all kinds of things. Sad. Well, that's depressing. Just a sticker. It's just sad. I should put that on a package. Sad. Then we have hamsters out on the town, out at the lake. I've started to put some stickers, because I have a lot, um, in some of my Poshmark packages. And, well, and eBay, I should say. In the clothing, I take the stickers and I put my card in and I put it in the um, little baggie that then goes in the other baggie. That's how I do that. So we have these. Those are cute donuts. Now these look like they should smell. They do not. This is cruel. It should smell. It looks like one's missing. Is that a typewriter? Why is that on there? No, those are pickles. What's a pickle doing next to a donut? Maybe it's a pregnancy sticker. Hi! Then we have little, like, kawaii-type hamsters. These kind of stickers come in so many of the boxes. And no, I don't do anything with the stickers. Every time I show stickers, they're like, what are you doing with the stickers? Are you scrapbooking or putting them in your planner? No, I'm just collecting them because I like stickers. Here's a hamster cafe where the hamsters are eating food as well as bathing in the food. So that's fun. Hmm, oh, that hamster head has a fork in it. What kind of stickers are those? And that one looks like it's vomiting. I don't know, Hamster Cafe, they're not very good customers. Then they always send a lot of little loose ones. So we have just these little random loose cute little kawaii like stickers it's very hard to show them to you i'm not going to hold every single one up that seems redundant and then a paper clip of a pineapple <laughs> so that is sticky club i'll link sticky cup sticky club below if you want to go and look at that what's that then we have i really need to speed up here then we have bark box 
which Charlie and Lucy don't know has come. They definitely know BarkBox. It's a monthly subscription for dogs. If you guys have any other um, dog subscription box ideas, please leave below because I would like to get another one or two. Um, Charlie goes through toys like there is no tomorrow. And like I just bought two more today and I just bought a couple little cheap ones because I know he'll destroy them. So here is the little card. It's like a little comic book thing. You can pop this out and put your photos in. So it's a comic book theme. Oh boy, look at that. <gasps> he will love that. It crinkles. It's got fur. He loves toys. He's like Max. Max loved toys. And then this is like a turtle on a steering wheel with a rocket. I don't know, but it's got things to pull on. Fluffies. I'm sure. Oh gosh, don't come running. I can just hear one. I heard something. Then we have the treats. Oh, this is nice. Plaque busters. They definitely need that. Poor Lucy's breath smells horrible. What teeth she has left. And there's two in here. So that's good. Then we have a pack of chomp. If you go to Target, they're now selling this brand, Bark Brand. Pork Dog Treats. So they love any kind of treats. And these are made in the USA. Better for dog ingredients. And then another Bark. These are Amazo Quakes. Amazo Quacks? Duck Dog Treats. And they're little. That's good. That's another thing about Bark Box is you can get... Um, the box that for the size of your dog. So if you have a larger dog, I think there's three sizes. Mine get the toy. So that's Bark Box. And then we have Love With Food. I did not renew my Love With Food box. So this might be the last one, I'm not sure. It's not that I don't like them, but late, just the ones, the snacks we've been getting, there's just been a lot of spicy stuff or stuff we just don't eat. It's not that it's bad quality. I think it's high quality stuff, but it just hasn't been anything really that we've been doing and Papa's not eating anything anymore. So it's like, I can't eat all this by myself. Um, but they do, I should say, they do have three different boxes. They have a tasting box, the deluxe box, which is this, and then they have a gluten-free box. So again, I will link, linking everything below. I'll link Love With Food below if you wanna check it out. Um, these are kettle cooked potato chips. Well, heck yeah, I'll eat those. This will be the box where I like love everything and think I need to renew. Okay, they've sent these before and I just don't like healthy crap. Protein fueled, no, plant fueled protein bar. I mean, it's got like just all healthy stuff in it. I don't know. Give me some sugar. Like if you're going to eat something that's supposed to be bad for you, a treat, just give me the sugar. Vanilla Crisp Squares, they've sent these before. Papa does like these. Although, I made him Rice Krispie Treats. He ate the whole pan. So I made him another one because I had these up. Oh, why'd you make those? I can't eat anymore. I'm like, oh my gosh. The gratitude. Ooh, now see, this is what I don't like. Habanero chili. Like, we're never, we would never even try this. Corn chips. I just feel like a lot of the stuff has been spicy as of late and... It just goes to waste. Lemon wafer bites. We have had these before. Papa will eat those. Mini air popped sea pop, sea salt. Mini pops air pop sorghum sea salt. What? What is sorghum? Sorghum is the fifth most harvested, harvested cereal grain on the globe. Huh. Well, it's very small, whatever it is. Feels like there must be like 10 kernels of popcorn in there, but something different. Then we have Surf Sweets Organic Fruity Bears. Then Oatmeal Cranberry Cookie. Is this like a regular cookie or is it a... Oh, it's a regular cookie. That's good. Not one of those healthy cookies. I don't want healthy cookies. If I wanted healthy, I'd go get a salad, not a cookie. I'm going to eat a cookie. Get a cookie. I need some carrots. Then we have some wafer rolls. Again, they've sent these before. These are garlic onion breadstick mix. Hmm. I love me some bread. Gluten-free. That's kind of different. They've never sent a mix before. I'll definitely make these. 
You just mix with olive oil. Oh, you can add cheese and eggs. So you add oil, eggs, and the cheese, and you mix these up. But still pretty, sounds pretty easy. Garlic, onion. That duck sounds good. I will make those. Then we have a Ruger chocolate wafer. Papa does like wafer cookies, so that's another good one. Although I can just see, be like, I don't want it. I don't want to eat that. There's like one random piece of candy in here. Taffy. Just, just one. And then two packs of the Blue Diamond che uh, Cheater. Cheater nut. Cheater Cheddar Cheese Almond Rice Crackers. That, so this was actually a really good box. The wafers, the cheese crackers, a normal cookie, kettle chips. Again, we've had this before. The Rice Krispie Treats, the wafer bites. This is all like wafers. Another wafer, organic jelly bean, jelly bellies. This looks kind of different. The only thing is that's an absolute no is this habanero chili. And I'm gonna just open this thing up and see if I can take a bite and I will do a taste test. I don't know, it just kind of tastes like dirt. What's in it? Weird flour, brown rice, protein, cashews, sugar, kernel oil, chocolate, cocoa powder, Sunflower oil, cocoa butter, sea salt, sunflowers, and cashews. Oh, I already said cashews. So I guess it's like a nut bar. It's more like a nut bar, a nut butter. It's a nut butter bar. The texture is a little chalky. But then once you get into it, it's actually not so bad. Although the picture is cookies and this is like just a brown lump. Now that I'm eating it, I kind of like it. Hmm. I'll stop chewing and watch me sit here and chew. I actually kind of like that. Not bad. I need a drink. Okay. Then we have the other food. Candy Club. Candy Club is a big hit around here. The only food Papa likes anymore is sweet stuff. So, I always try to get him some things he'll eat. Candy Club is another one that offers different subscription options. We're currently getting the six pack. You can let them choose for you or you can pick your own. I always pick my own. Um, the candies rotate. What have they done here? So, or you know, it's just not, you don't get everything every month in terms of variety. I gotta rip this open, hang on. That's gonna wake my dogs. Oh my gosh, I can't hardly get it open. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'll link Candy Club below if you wanna check it out, we like it. So the first thing I got were these triple chocolate toffees. Again, like I said, you can choose what you want. These just looked kinda good. They're like little bite size different toffees, which is why they're called toffees. Triple chocolate, milk, dark, and white, I believe. Anyway, this looks good. Then, got a bag of RJ's Nut Free Licorice. I never would have worried that licorice came with nuts, but this clearly says nut free. Raspberry, made in New Zealand. Well, that came a long way. Nice soft licorices. Then I also got, an, once again, the potato chip clusters, you guys. These are amazing. This is dangerous because you can eat the whole box. You can easily eat the whole box in one sitting. It's like I opened the box the last time. I was like, oh, that tastes good. And then as I'm carrying the box to the kitchen to put it away, I swear to God, I ate half of it. They're so good. Then, oh, they also throw loose candies in. And this month, they threw a bunch of um, jawbreakers in. So there's a bunch of those in there. Then I got some of the butterscotch rounds, because Papa, he will eat those. Then I got, what are these? Well, they're melted, whatever they are. 
it kind of come melted, but although I don't know how anybody could get anything here not melted. It has been in the hundreds, so a little melting in here, but these are chocolate covered peanuts, again for Papa. And then for me, these are raspberry um, gummies. So a little bit of melting going on, but like I said, I can't blame anybody, even though they package it like this. It's just been brutal um, around here. So yeah, that's the candy club for this month. Again, I'll link them below. And then finally, a new thing is the Fit Fab Fun Box. I know you guys have seen these all over, and I have too for years but I never wanted it because of the fit. I'm like, is it a fitness box? I don't want to be sweaty and fitnessy. I don't like that kind of stuff. I just want the fun fab, not the fit. So I was like, uh, ah. but Melissa over at Fresh Bloom and Clothing, she gets these. And um, so I used her link to sign up. So I thought I would sign up, give it a go. And here's how they get you. You sign up for the box. I'm like, ooh, you can add extra stuff to your box. You can pick some of the things you can then they offer you all these additional like bargain buys and I'm like ooh that's how they got me here are my bargain buys two luggage tags that are shaped like cherries they're glittery what was I thinking but they were like discounted then these are La Tweez pro illuminating tweezers with diamond dust tips in a cute little package so that was another add-on then this was Cocoa Floss Pure Strawberries, and this is Dental Floss. I got Strawberry Dental Floss. Why? Because it was an add-on and it was cheap, and they got me. See why this brand has been successful? Because they get you. Then this is Spongele. You have my heart on a string. Body Wash Infused Popper. This is another, another add-on. Again, did I mention that the end of this video was not about saving money, not about making money, but spending money on crap I don't need. But sometimes you just need a little oil. So, but this is the actual box. Now I did get to pick a, two or three things, I think. Um, and then the rest will be a surprise. So, here's the box. Oh, and this box comes three times a, four times a year. So, we have a Fit Fab Fun magazine thing. Ooh, you could win. You could win stuff. This smells like Sassy Magazine from the 80s. It totally does. That's weird. Did you like, did you get Sassy? Did you get Sassy in the 80s? Or was it, did it come out? Yeah, it came out in 1988, because I remember on our being in junior high, Lori, got one and we we're all standing on the corner me and her and Trisha and there may have been somebody else and we're like ooh sassy what's this is this hot new magazine it seems kind of naughty anyway then let's see we've got some coupons note kind of stuff that always comes and then here it is all wrapped up let's see if I can balance this in a way to not spill everything so the first thing is Tula probiotic skincare and these are pads you polish your face with these pads for smoother skin I am all about exfoliation so I will definitely be using these because if I could scrape the skin off of my face once a week and start fresh that's what I would do then we have I'm trying to balance it here a cosmetic bag which I assume is just a bag, not anything actually. Why you, won't you like be cooperate with me? Okay, yep, just a cosmetic bag. Two sections to it. Oh, it's Yumi Kim in this lovely floral. I know a lot of people sell the stuff out of these bags. I know Melissa does. She gets a lot of boxes and sells a bunch of this stuff. So that's definitely something I could maybe look into selling because I don't, no, when I would travel. Although I do like to hoard bags and luggage, so I don't know. Might have to hoard it. Then we have another. I ordered, no, body wash infused butter. Another buffer pad. It's squishy, it cleanses, exfoliates, hydrates, and massages. It smells delightful. 
also smells like the 80s. I don't know, maybe I'm just having a renaissance here where everything is reminding me of 80s, but like I said, I like anything that's exfoliating, so I will take it. Then we have Ish Lip Statement Palette. I love lip products. Open up. Come out. Doo -doo -doo. Ooh, oh, it's all like in plasticky stuff. There, get all that off. Let's open this baby up. Ooh, look at that. I want this one. The lighting in here is terrible. Literally, the only light is on my forehead. I'm the worst. No wonder my channel sucks. And my channel grows at like like one subscriber a day. <laughs> Everyone else is like blowing up and I'm like, oh my God, one more person. <laughs> that being said, I appreciate all of you here. And if you aren't subscribed yet, please do so. <laughs> I'm a terrible YouTuber. This is Blue Lotus Balancing Lotion. It's hydration, fine line prevention, perfect for under makeup, normal dry sensitive skin. Well, that covers everything but oily, which I am you can see on my giant forehead. Oh, it's sealed, I won't open it. We got that. Then we have, what, how do you say this? Ahava Mineral Hand Cream. Couldn't, you know, so we get back into winter. Oh, this is sealed too. These are high quality products and not like when you get home from Walmart, you can pop the top off and go. Then we have Coors, which is a high-end brand. Higher end. High end to me means it's not Vaseline or Dove. Like if it's better than that. This is shower gel in five different languages. So I'm trying to find the scent. Rose, Japanese rose. Yes, Japanese rose. Not regular rose, Japanese rose. Two more things in here. We have a makeup drop silicone beauty applicator. I've never had one of these and I've always wanted to have one and now I have one. Ooh, 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 it's jelly. <gasps> Doesn't smell, but I like it. Ooh, I just like playing with it. Ooh, I enjoy this very much. What is it? It's like a gummy bear makeup sponge. <gasps> This is me doing my makeup with my gummy bear sponge. I love that. That's just something to tinker with. Then finally, we have what appears to be some sort of apparel item, which is probably a scarf because these boxes are all about the scarves. Or is it a blanket? This is going to the dogs, literally. Those dogs go through blankets like you would not believe because they ruin them. This is nice. Maybe Papa will like it. He won't like, well, here's what Charlie will like. He will like these little fringy things to chew on, find a way to eat them off, and then eat them. So we'll have to see about that. But this is pretty nice. It's like a beachy, you know, you could take this to the beach wrap. <laughs> I don't go to the beach here in Iowa. We do have a beach. <laughs> beach on a dirty lake that people go to and it's nasty. I don't know. It's got bacteria in it. They're always putting up warnings like, you really shouldn't go in the water. But anyway, so that's all my openings of everything. I will link everything below. Um, if you've stayed with me this long, thank you so much. I can sit here now and play with my glitter sponge and eat my nut bar. Pretty good now I got into it. Kind of like a Tootsie Roll. Yeah. A Tootsie Roll cake brownie. Tootsie Roll brownie. That's kind of what it tastes like. It's a little dry. A little dry, but it's good. Now I'm chewing. Well, anyway, I hope you liked all this stuff. Now I gotta go put it away. I need to start getting into giveaways again. I used to do giveaways with like stuff I didn't want. <laughs> stuff I get a lot of stuff and then put extras in the giveaway. So I need to start kind of collecting stuff and doing that. But time gets away from me. I'm a little frazzled lately trying to take care of Papa. He needs more and more help. The two dogs, the house. I'd like to move to an apartment. 
where I don't have any responsibilities. I don't have to do anything because every day with the house, it's something. And trying to keep up with work, it's a lot. I've been feeling pretty overwhelmed lately. So little things like this, little indulgences, and this squish. I wonder if I can buy more of these. These are, I'm telling you, these are very fun to smoosh. So anyway, guys, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure you're subscribed. All the links will be below. Go check those out. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Squish, squish. It's so fun.